Hi everybody, I am Justin. Been a picker for a long time. I found pretty good haul vintage clothes, so just kind of wanted to document them and uh, just show you all what I got. Here it is. This is just part of the uh, the haul, but some of the better pieces. This one here, pretty cool. Graphic on it, single stitch, ADS T. Really cool. Moving on, we got these bright 80s style vests. There are two of them. Image, medium size, more cool 80s stuff. Got some cool band stuff in here. Large size, three quarter sleeve, single stitch as well. I like these bottoms, they're just kind of the natural looking pretty cool shirt this is the cool stuff some brand name drum equipment again all single stitch really cool stuff super screen stars tag orange one of the old ones very cool i don't know how you say this the tiger the tank the t gray whatever it's all made in the usa really cool stuff Got a little zipper on there. Rainmaker. Haven't really identified what that is yet, but I'm guessing it's band related, music related. More single stitch. This was just a really exciting pick. Another cool 80s t shirt. Again, single stitch. Just about all of this one. Oh, this next one's really cool. Rad shirt. Totally 80s style. I looked this guy up. He's on YouTube. Screen Stars Best. This Randy Rocket. Wasn't really my taste in music, but really cool graphics on this one. Just a plain 80s tie-dye shirt. It's Fruit of the Loom, I believe. Yeah, Fruit of the Loom. Old tag. Another pretty cool shirt. This one's made in Canada, Calgary. Also single stitched. Really cool. Kind of a velvety tag on this one. Custom screen works. Rasta Billy. Kind of looks like a zigzag logo, logo there. I don't know if that was a band or what. Oneda Power T. Again, single stitch made in the USA. Kind of a velvety little sweater. Pretty cool. Paste. I believe that's some kind of a drum manufacturer. Single stitch as well. <clears throat> More Fred's drums. It's Cincinnati and Indianapolis. I got three of these, I think. Maybe four. They're three-quarter sleeve. Single stitched. Another, another one. This is the back side. Of, they all have the same graphic on the back as well. Same style shirts. This one's really cool. Gold's Gem. This is an early one, 80s, super thin, super soft, single stitch, Fender Strat vest. Again, 80s, I believe the tag's in here. Oh, anyways, there's another one of those. I found a tag in it. Uh, pasty, uh, paste symbols, pasty paste, three quarter sleeve, single stitch as well. It's a cool concert shirt, Gentle Giant. Look this one up. Probably get about 100 bucks out of this one. Really liked it. This one's cool. It's got some kind of discoloration in it. It's a Pioneer Super Tuner. Stereo. I remember those back in the day. Haynes Beefy T. Backside. Pretty cool. Super Tuner. Like that one. 
Pearl Drums, 1984, all single stitch. You got screen stars, medium. Roads, keyboards, no sleeves. Not sure about that tag, but it's made in the USA. Another cool, another cool shirt. Just a super thin, plain. Let's see how thin this thing is. You can see right through it. Plain green tee. Another symbol shirt. Tags cut out. I don't know why people do that. This one's cool. 1992 USA Dream Team. Official shirt. Also single stitch. Another cool concert shirt. Dexter Gordon. Wasn't familiar with them, but I looked these up. So, the loom. Extra large. Uh, yeah, 1990. Back in the good old days. Found a Wabash color. Just like a big sleep shirt. Super thin. I believe it's Screen Stars as well. Yeah, Screen Stars best. This thing is crazy thin as well. You can see right through it. Another, uh, I believe this is a plain one. Nope, this is Chet's shirt, whoever Chet would be. Cool old shirt, can't read the tag. Another Fender vest. Levi Strauss, single stitch. Really cool old Levi shirt, it's got some stains. Got some like bleach marks or something on it. I don't know this what this is, abstractions. Check it out. It is. Get there. Screen stars as well. Again, single stitch. Guild sleeveless. Haynes 100% cotton USA. Pretty cool. Another Ludwig t shirt. Really thin, super stitched as well. Pretty cool stuff. On a really old pair of Catalina swim trunks. It's pretty cool. And this one's not so old. Sturgis 2011 was in there. Found out Patagonia. This thing was new, but it had some dirt on it, so I had to take the tags off of it and wash it. Polo, I believe. Polo jeans. Denim. San Jose Sharks. It is Logo 7. Another vintage piece. Thunder Cycle, Fort Lauderdale. And again, I don't think this is that old. No, it's not that old. No big deal there. Another Sturgis shirt. Getting to the real good good one down here. Minnesota Vikings Majestic tag on it. Pretty cool. 21 year old Sturgis shirt. Got a Carhartt. Just a sweater or hoodie. Another Fender long sleeve 80s sweatshirt. Pretty cool. Got pretty awesome slippery noodle. If you if you're from Indiana or Indianapolis, you probably heard of this place. It's just a legendary place. It goes way back. It's got a cool story. Tag's been removed on it, but single stitch. Uh, not sure how you say this word, but most people probably recognize that if they know. I've seen music. It's a Haynes fifty fifty. Pretty cool. Here we go. We got the the gems of the t-shirts. This one's 1993 tour, Grateful Dead. From uh, unfortunately they cut the tag, but it's a screen star's best tag if you compared it to others. It's legit. This one's got a reverse hit on it as well. You probably just saw a glimpse of the best one. Grateful Dead tour. Really cool. And this one right here was not expecting this one um 
I just listed this one and just sold it. So this is the reason I'm doing the uh, video now. Because this thing's got to get out to the uh, to the person who paid me over eight hundred dollars for this T-shirt. So okay, now on to the denim. Did pretty well there too. Got some old late '80s, maybe early '90s silver tabs. Pretty cool. Another pair in blue. Some more. 80s, 560s, made in USA, orange tab, really great coloring, really great condition on these. Another pair in the green, sorry about the squeaky floor. Again, made in USA, they got the right tags, everything's legit on them. These are a little rough, but in pretty good shape overall. Other, another 80s pair. Oh, these are really cool. Got some corduroy Levi's and we got the 70s tags on those. We got some bells on this one. A little bit of bells. Again, the old tag, 70s. These people had such cool clothes. Got a pair of 550s. I believe these are 90s. Okay, swell. Another pair missing the tag back there, but still a cool pair. 90s, I believe, as well. Got a pair of black. These are made in the USA. Orange tab. Now, this is probably was probably their favorite pair of pants because they're pretty worn. Got holes everywhere. They just thin. Material everywhere Pretty cool another Another I think 90s pair some cool holes in them very nicely distressed and I'm gonna end With some Converse Main USA black label Kind of bummed because there was a green pair and somehow I didn't grab them on the way out But uh, anyways, these still have to be cleaned up pretty well as you can see Kind of gross, but clean those up too and turned it into uh, quite a mess on my bed there. But anyways, just wanted to document this. I know there's a lot of people like to see this kind of stuff, so let me know what you think. Peace.